Hey, boo. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. good. <laughs> well, congratulations on everything between the platform and being a part of AT&T's uh, Future Black Maker class of 2022. Um, that's been fantastic. Um, but what I love, what I love about what you've been able to do with your platform is that you've been able to create a safe space for you to do what you love and to be your authentic self. And I think you've invited and given your guests permission to do the same thing. So as people watching your show, we're able to experience them in a way that maybe we wouldn't have, right, outside of your show. Yes. And I'm like, this guy is living the dream, being able to do what you love, sharing it with the world, and having impact. Yeah. So when you think about being Black, when you think about being the future, because you are, and living the dream, what does that mean to you? And did you think it would happen so quickly? I'll answer the last question first. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> friend, no. This, uh, it's funny to even think that the first episode of my show that I did was in 2018. Um, and, and at the time, I didn't even know what was going to happen. It wasn't even called The Terrell Show. It was just like, hey, let's film a video with this person sitting next to me. I'm not a host. I don't know how to ask questions. But I'm going to think on the spot and we'll figure this out. And then, you know, now we're on season five with over 100 episodes with so many amazing artists. So, no, I, didn't, I did not think it would happen this fast. Or even at all, if I'm being honest with you, okay. um, you know how crazy this work can be. I think people just sometimes they just put their art out there and then they just release that and share that with the world. And then, you know, just hope somebody uh, connects and relates to it. We've just been so blessed that it's been a lot of people that connect and relate to it. Um, so, yeah. And in terms of the future, man, to be a part of, of, of the culture in this way, you know, I'll go out and, and people will stop me and they'll say, you know, you remind me of, of a young Arsenio Hall, or you give us the Don Cornelius vibe that's been missing. And it just takes my heart and it just melts it because those are some of my biggest influences. They yeah. brought us new music. You know, I used to watch 106 in Park, like it was my job. And now it's, it's something that uh, the Terrell Show reminds people of that kind of a, a vessel of, of new music, new artists, and uh, new talent within our culture. So to be so ingrained in it now and people count on me yeah. to, uh, you know, hook them up with the new tunes, it's incredible. And it's the best job in the world. 